Kyle from 8 Dio here, and I'm just going to quickly run through the functions and the new user interface for Requiem Professional. Now one of the first things you're going to notice is that quite a lot of the dials and faders look similar and have the same functions as our Adagio series. So at the top left you have attack and release. Now release serves two functions. It either controls the fade out of a note or it controls the volume of a release trigger such as in this Marcato. You've also got dynamics and expression which is CC1 and CC11. Obviously you can change this if you want by just right clicking. Now to the right you have your microphone positions all in the exact same patch which is the biggest improvement in this version too. You can mix between your favourite positions or purge unused ones to save on valuable RAM. We've also included a microphone breakout right here at the top. This means you can route different microphone positions through contacts output into different speakers so you can mix and surround sound. Now towards the bottom of each patch you're going to find this scroll. It's going to contain all the articulations or syllables you're going to need to perform. Simply click on the name of articulation or syllable you want and it will show you the corresponding key switch. Now something new we added to this Mercato patch was release triggers. This allows you to play notes shorter than they were originally recorded. The volume of these release triggers can be controlled using the release dial at the top left. Now we also went back and added a bunch of new effects, delays, distortions, bit crushers, but most importantly, two different convolution reverbs. One purely for sound design, which contains a whole bunch of specially designed stuff, such as rain, cars, metal door slamming shut, and synths from our hybrid series, as well as a bunch of acoustic spaces, such as cathedrals, churches, warehouses, bunkers, and small rooms. We also went back and completely revisited the source material for the Marcatos. We reprogrammed and looped every single note and added release triggers so you could play each note as long as you wanted. Now, one of the first things you'll probably notice is an extra microphone position included for the solo poly sustains. This is a close, quite dry position used to bring out the detail and clarity in a track. And of course, we included the output options for that microphone position as well. There's also a sample start dial. This allows you to push forward the starting position of any played phrase. There's also a legato option. When on, this allows you to continue phrases onto different notes, allowing you to play all the phrases quite melodically. This is covered in a lot more detail in our technical walkthrough. You're also going to notice a crossfade dial. Now this controls the equal power crossfade between the red key switches shown with the highlighted names and the green key switches indicated by the XF logo. You can change what crossfade syllables are selected by using the green key switches towards the top of your controller. To see this in action, please check out our technical walkthrough. Now. If you have a Requiem Professional, you've probably noticed there's a folder dedicated to light versions of the major patches. These contain slightly less features, but save an insane amount of RAM. For instance, in this light version of the Soprano 2 patch, there's no sample start and there's no legato feature, but it streams directly from your hard drive, so it's great for laptop composers or people struggling with their RAM. We split some of our time-based patches into special tempo sync folders. Now these patches will automatically adjust to your whole sequencer's tempo. Mine is currently set at 150 BPM, whereas the patch was originally recorded at 100 BPM. Thanks to Contact 5's Time Machine Pro, it will adjust automatically. Now we always recommend you try use Contact 5 because the time stretching is far superior than any of its predecessors.
All of our legato patches work in a very similar way as to the rest of the library, other than there's far less controls. We have dynamics and expression which work just like the rest of the patches, and attack and release which work in the pre-sustain. But we've also got legato limit and legato positions. Legato limit controls the range you can play legato before triggering a second note, making it polyphonic. By decreasing this number, you can play two notes closer together, increasing the amount of musical options. This works hand in hand with positions. By increasing the value for positions, you're increasing the amount of polyphony available. Now just like most of our patches, we have light legato patches too. In this case, we retain all of the major features, but we're just using DFD, direct from disk, streaming. This is best suited if you have a solid state drive or a particularly fast hard drive. If you experience any clicks or pops, please revert back to the full version of the legato patch. Last, but certainly not least, is our new phrase builder. Not only does it contain all the microphone positions in one place, but it contains a couple of new features too. To use the phrase builder, simply click on the phrases you want to trigger in the scroll. You can insert a rest by hitting the rest symbol, backspace by hitting back, or clear everything you've inputted so far. When the staccato button is set to on, what you play will trigger staccato notes. When Mercato is on, what you play will trigger Mercato notes. By now you've probably noticed the red and green key switches. They work a little bit differently in this patch. The red key switches control your playback position inside the phrase builder. Whereas the green key switches controls the actual phrase itself, allowing you to change what you're playing on the fly. As well as the staccato and the marcato option, we have a velocity option. This plays staccato in the lower velocities and marcato in the higher velocities. This is an extremely natural and expressive way to shape your phrases. There's also the option for release triggers on the marcatos. This works best when the release dial is turned down to its lowest amount. allowing you to play the marcatos for much shorter and more expressive amounts of time. For more information, please check out our technical walkthrough or get in touch with us at www.8do.com. Thanks.